and John Leonetti here. Ignatius of Antioch, have you heard of him? Depending on when you see this, we are celebrating his feast day today on Tuesday. He was born only a few years after our Lord's death, so we're going back a ways. And he's almost entirely known for his letters, seven letters to be exact. Five of those letters, Ignatius is pouring his heart out to Christians to remain in the truth of Jesus Christ and his church. His sixth letter was to his brother Bishop, St. Polycarp, and his seventh letter? This was the letter he was begging Christians not to stop his impending martyrdom. Instead, he asked that they allow him to honor God with his blood. Facing the lions in the Circus Maximus for being a Christian, Ignatius would indeed die a martyr. See, men, for Ignatius, life was about nothing other than God. Everything in his life, everything in his day, was ordered to God, even his death. And men, that's got to be you and me as well, where we, by God's grace, do what we can to order or reorder our days, our lives, to God. A great teacher we have in the writings and teachings of St. Ignatius of Antioch. St. Ignatius of Antioch, pray for us. Have a heroic week, men. Pray for me and know I'm praying for you. God bless you. <music>